Hey guys, it's Mathel here once again with an update on the league start for the Settlers of Calgar. As you can see, I uh, did some kind of cosplay to begin with, like with some, you know, Wall Street uh, stock market type shit. And then uh, clearly was sick of that shit and uh, decided to come back immediately as a gladiator. Because, uh, you know, gladiator rework, this is attempt at a gladiator. Put both of that cosplay action together in like fucking half a day and uh yeah that's is what it was uh in the end i did decide to choose to go warden volcanic fisher from my starter list i was tossing up between gladiator and volcanic fisher uh or just a warden in general and i decided to go warden so i leveled with frost blades up until about level 35 did uh my normal lab got a alt quality uh, ground slam and then or alt gem ground slam and then traded that for volcanic fissure of snaking and from then onwards i was volcanic fissure the frost blades leveling experience as you'd expect pretty smooth nothing you know great without upgrading your gear or having leveling uniques um, just make sure you get like ancestral call in the build somewhere um, and yeah that's pretty much it just get flat damage easy as it goes. Uh, this is when I first put on Volcanic Fissure. It's Volcanic Fissure of Snaking, which has a huge differential from the regular Volcanic Fissure in that it snakes around and it is not based off of projectiles at all. It is purely uh, melee. So it does have a large buff um, thanks to being a melee. You don't have to place totems anymore. And we are a Warden. So I specced into Warden and the very first thing I did was get Scorch. As you might be able to see against the tougher enemies, uh, my Scorch does apply twice. It's not very effective most of the time because we're non-crit and we're using pretty weak weapons. But uh, for the leveling experience, it was very good. Um, no complaints, went through pretty damn smoothly, killed all bosses uh, comfortably and the clear is decent because Volcanic Fisher is just a mechanical beast when it comes to the clear. Um, and I was just leveling as dual wield, non-crit, uh, even though I was basically following the template for the two-handed crit version of the build that I put in the start of video. Um, it's just going to be easier and quicker to grab a couple of weapons, a couple of axes, and uh, have a bit more attack speed, especially when you're still going to be one-shotting things. So just get a bit of flat, cold, lightning, fire, whatever, uh, on your gear using an added cold gem as well, and then uh, just dual wield and running around just slapping down volcanic fissures. Now at this point, it is still zero quality, so getting to 20 quality is kind of a big deal um, because once it's 20 quality, you gain an extra fissure snaking, and currently it only snakes two times, so a third fissure snaking is absolutely huge, and I think it should promote more ability to a single target because the volcanic fissure of snaking can bounce back after the first snake to the target you are attacking. It just doesn't always happen. I think with a third one, it probably has more of a chance of happening. Let's just pretend. So either way, it should be a huge clear increase. So if you can get 20 quality, work your way towards that. I have yet to do that. Uh, so maybe I'll run some Merc Labs and just get some quality up, but kind of lazy. And while things work, I typically don't fix them. So zero quality and Volcanic Fissure has been uh, just the dream. I've gotten through to like tier 10 maps or something like that now uh, on a four link still still no five link still no six link uh, Don't give a shit about that because like I said if it ain't broke don't fix it and um, Until I find one or until I'm really in need of a fifth or sixth link probably not gonna go out of my way for it just yet so um, I was still non crit on the build up until around tier seven eight maps something like that uh, because making the jump and the swap to crit is kind of a big deal. And um, you need to make sure you have the right passives on the tree. You need to make sure you uh, have a few of the right pieces of gear as well. So once I entered mapping, I did buy two axes for one C each. They have just a bunch of elemental damage on them and I'll show you in a sec. Um, and it pretty much carries you on a fall link all the way through the maps pretty comfortably. I took the big elemental node as my second node for warden and I didn't really find any of the tinctures I wanted um, up until around, yeah, when I was going to swap into crit. So I swapped into crit and around level 84 or something like that is when I found some tinctures to actually try out. Now I was pretty skeptical about putting them on without specking into anything like that. 
um, but they're actually not too bad. Like Tincture with zero spec for it on the tree or my Warden Ascendancy stuff uh, is manageable. Like you will get a good five or six seconds of use before you even notice your mana moving. Uh, and then you can actually sustain it through your mana if you've got some um, actual unreserved mana. You will be able to sustain it while you're leeching. So it'll just eventually drain you, but you can turn it off manually. You can spec into it to have it turn off um, through um, a mastery. In essence, you can eventually turn this thing into just kind of a flask. Uh, so tinctures do look pretty damn good and pretty damn strong. Uh, very early days for me for testing it, but um, hopefully... We'll have more to say about that in the future. As far as the league mechanic is concerned, uh, just a quick overview or we'll talk about that. Uh, it's been good. It's just a bunch of sort of busy work um, and a little micromanaging and stuff. And this right here is the real big payout I've had so far. Uh, high results sold for two and a half divines. Aside from that, nothing crazy on my end, just, you know, lots of little things, little pieces of currency and stuff, but that was a big payout um, just from a very early shipment. So I don't know, a few thousand shipment value at like level 70. Um, and then, yeah, the league mechanic itself, it's a lot of extra little busy work, but it's not stuff I've felt bad about doing so far. You just have it in your mind, like, yep, got to go back, got to go, you know, upgrade this, got to assign that, allocate this, make gold so I can upgrade this. Uh, it, it is pretty, at the moment, um, engaging. Like, I am very much wanting to log in. I am very much wanting to go back to town. I am very much hoping to set things up before I leave, stuff like that, and then kind of excited to come back. Uh, from what I've seen so far, the mapping mechanic of it, like, I haven't actually gotten to that point yet, uh, but from what I've heard and seen, it's not very rewarding and it is a bit jank. Uh, so I assume it'll probably get like sorted out a bit more and buffed or something like that because uh, it's not pulling out good rewards and people's guys are dying and uh, it's, yeah, it's very like RNG heavy. You may see one guy with a mirror on Reddit, but most people are getting like literal fuck all uh, when they're doing the mapping mechanic. Um, but the shipment things seem to be okay. They're well enough balanced. Just sometimes if you've got some risk on your thing that you can lose some shit, which is pretty annoying. Um, but if you, you know, balance it well enough, typically you do get some actual good, um, returns just a little bit by bit, even in these early stages. All that said, yeah, it's been pretty fun to just, um, do something kind of different in POE. It's been very different. It's been, um, a good, uh, relaxing sort of little chore because it's a step away from killing mobs and it's managing your town to, you know, prioritize what you think you need um to look at where you need to prioritize and uh, it's it's been different and very fun so no bad things to say there i think it's possibly one of the smoothest um mechanics we've had for a league mechanic on launch possibly ever because it just i'd say needs a few tweaks to become truly you know what it uh, should be um, for the next patch or two in the next week or two but on launch it's pretty well balanced it's pretty well um made and it's fairly uh good to engage with and interact with so that is fairly rare for a poe league usually there do need to be quite a lot of fixes whereas i think this one is uh, pretty much good out the gate at least so far we'll see how it goes in the next uh, few days or week maybe it gets old maybe it just doesn't feel rewarding enough but there are enough things that even if they aren't rewarding enough that they're still going to be good for so you'll still be able to use the gamble for gold you'll still be able to use disenchanting uh for recombinating stuff and ultimately the rune smithing stuff is just pure power creep but it looks like it's going to be very hard to get a lot of runes uh, to be able to use that multiple times so that's the only maybe concern i think a few things do need tweaks maybe reward structure wise or uh, risk wise but overall great league mechanics so far i've had a lot of fun uh, let me just go ahead and show you what my warden um volcanic fisher character looks like and how you can get to the same stage so i should mention right off the bat that um all the starters so far are pretty good um the gladiator fell strike from what i've heard is doing all right the uh tornado inquisitor is doing very well for a lot of people and uh, if you pick up that shield you can become like you know 90 percent blocked to like two different things if you really want it's pretty crazy likewise with a lot of gladiators if you like you know take lucky block and shit like that it's you become damn near immortal but a lot of good stuff a lot of good feedback from Pretty much anyone playing melee, bleed, 
um, and uh, yeah, the starters that I've put out, but I'll just focus on this one because I did choose to go the Warden and I did choose to do Volcanic Fisher. Um, basically following the two-handed template that I put out, but I instead went dual wield for now because um, for leveling it was a bit faster, but mostly I actually want to try out Swordstorm. And for Swordstorm, you do need to be um, dual wielding. So that's why I wanted to go that route. And in my experience so far, it hasn't been anything too crazy. I think maybe I just need a lot more crit so to guarantee that it crits. Um, and I don't know, maybe it just won't be super worth it on a four link. But that's where we're at. I'm using it, I'm trying it, I'm dual wielding, and uh, it's going okay. You could instead do a big fat two-hander. Probably have more damage, but uh, you wouldn't be block capped like I am. So that's part of why I wanted to do this. I basically went the block cap route instead of like pretty much anything else. So I've got block cap, um, fortify, some leech, stuff like that. But I've got very little on the evasion and armor side of things. And it's been okay so far. So these are the two axes that I bought for like 1C upon entering maps and uh, or upon entering like Act 9 and they've gotten me this far so far. Uh, ideally, like the best version of an axe for this type of character is like all tier 1 mods on this type of a Siege Axe, basically. Um, not super easy to get, but doable with Rog, doable with Recombinators. Otherwise, just a two-handed axe that looks kind of like this. Um, and then, yeah, it'll serve us well enough. But we are currently on a four link and it's going just fine. So like I said, get a 20 quality, you have an extra Fisher and that should be better AOE, better single target. Uh, currently the four link I'm running is Volcanic Fisher, Trinity, added cold, and then I added multi-strike at around level 75 maybe. Otherwise I was using faster attacks, but once you're multi-striking, it'll be a bit easier for the skill to attack multiple times, choose enemies to go to, um, and it is a bit more comfortable. My fifth link right now would probably actually be crit strikes, so I could crit a lot more often because I did respect into crit, but to begin with, my tree went this way, grabbed precise techniques, uh, and I was non-crit, no crit nodes on the tree. You just have to make sure your accuracy is above your life at all times, so I was running precision, and I also had these nodes here. Otherwise, no crit nodes, and we're just filling out things that go all the way over here. We get um, this wheel pretty early on, so you start getting rage happening, and that sustains fairly well. Once you get this node over here as well, uh, you do pretty much sustain rage at all times, and it feels pretty damn good because uh, rage is fairly powerful. Um, aside from that, yep, fortify. I went with um, block cap basically to begin with over here and here, but since getting here, I respected this one here. Uh, and I think it is fake cap at the moment because it's just if I haven't blocked recently, I don't know what it is. If I have, I don't remember maybe it's still close to cap who gives a shit haven't been dying too much it's softcore doesn't matter um and then the rest of the gear i've found this amulet so you're looking for some crit multi maybe some flat damage you do need some stats across the board to um, fill out strength int um this ring i bought for 15c just for a bunch of stats and life uh this ring i bought for 40c just to fill out the rest of my res. So this was my last purchase most recently. Um, these gloves I found and then recombinated. So temple gloves. Um, this thing I bought for like, I don't know, 5C, 5C. Yes, lots of life we're just going for. These boots I just found. Um, this chest I just found from a shipment. And then the hat I found, it's a piece of shit. So we still have upgrades to go. We're still in the unit four link, but so far so good. Um, and you know, it's working just fine, so we're leaving it for now. Um, we do have our first node here as Scorch. Second node here was this one, and then I picked up the Freeze one, which is pretty nice. It freezes a lot of shit. It does keep you safe against some stuff um, a bit unexpectedly at times. And then my last point is going to be for the Tinctures. Um, it'll be decent once I grab this, and then if I grab the Mastery for Tincture over here to deactivate when you have 12, it'll basically turn into... A flask. So currently if I press it, um, it will degen me just a little and then eventually degen me to the point where it'll just make me run out of mana even if I'm attacking and that could last maybe like 20 seconds, 15 to 20 seconds, but you can turn it off whenever you want. It's not going to degen me in town. Uh, you can turn it off whenever you want, so even before it degens you um, and then still kind of have it sort of like a flask, um, but it's something you got to keep track of this way. When if you take the 
um, ascendancy and then that mastery for example it'll basically just turn into a flask and it'll just come off and then you just press it every now and again mindlessly so we'll see how that goes i haven't fucked with that yet i'm just assuming that's what's going to happen i only just then spec these nodes um and if i feel really good about it and want to fit another tincture in i will drop the freeze node and i will go for this and see if we can maintain two tinctures and uh, enjoy doing it because they can be pretty powerful this one right now does early damage with um melee weapons and then it's got some extra attack speed we can scale it as well with some effect there's um, some if increased effect modifiers on it as well which will also increase the mana drain but we'll see how that goes so far i've only put this one on and it's gone well enough and it's been pretty good um if i feel the need might get another one might start specking into more shit um and uh, yeah who knows but so far so good warden has been feeling pretty good uh, and um, so is Volcanic Fisher, and I think this kind of template can pretty much do anything. Uh, Volcanic Fisher is good as a skill, I think, but if you want to just go a bit more strike skill heavy, you can become like, you know, um, pretty much any strike skill with this sort of template, uh, or we could do some wild striking, which I hope to do, but I might save that for a larger build. Not too sure yet. Um, the links anywhere else, just chuck some stuff into Swordstorm, so add a cold, conk, early damage. Uh, we've got Leap Slam, Assassin Mark, Rage, and Faster Attacks. I will probably put the Assassin Mark separately to a Life Tap and Mark on Hit setup when I can be fucked doing that. Uh, otherwise, I'm running Anger, Herald of Ice, Frost Blink, and Precision. And then over here is Early Damage, Double Strike, and Faster Attacks. So I have been using a Vile Double Strike the entire time just for some single target assist. And it does feel pretty good even on a 3-link. Um, but maybe I'll end up 4-linking that as well. We'll see. But it does feel pretty good. It gives you a good extra burst of single target when you need it. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all there is to say. So that's the Warden. Um, and this is all just like new mystery box shit. So that's what we're looking, uh, rocking at the moment. So yeah, Warden Volcanic Fisher going pretty well. And so is everything else. Hope you guys are having as much fun and success in the league as I am. And um, I'll see you guys next time.